turn your old plastic nursery pots into some stylish home decor for your home and garden. All the juicy details coming right up. Hi, I'm artist Marcy Ziv. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you how we're gonna take these ordinary planter pots and make them into this gorgeous planter. Now this is a planter and it's also a tabletop. This is a list of materials that you'll need. I wanted to share with you before we started a little bit of a close up of our Bob Relief concept and the tabletop planter. And this is nothing more than using, for example, this is recycled burrs that I had around the holiday time. You can see these are nothing more than like a styrofoam birdies there. They were looking rather tired, you know, so you can see that. And I dipped them in a thin set mortar. Okay, that's all that is. And, and they're adhered very, very well. You have to make sure that when you're doing this, that you are attaching enough points that the bird stays in place or whatever object that you're using, you can use, you know, butterflies or what have you. It doesn't make any difference. It doesn't have to be a bird. I just happen to have birds. And the other thing that we used was uh, shop towels. So you can use a variety of materials. You don't have to stick to one material. You certainly don't have to go out and buy anything. Please don't do that. I encourage you to use the things that you have around the house. The thin set mortar, the Flexbond thin set mortar is something that I had a very large bag of. And I find if I don't use my mortars or concrete within a certain amount of time that they will go to waste because I do work out of my garage and there's no AC in there. So it gets very hot and humid because I am in the subtropics. So without further ado, For today's project, I'm using two uh, very large planter pots, and you'll see that this edge, I pulled this one originally out, and I decided not to use it because the edge is not really even with this part, and I've got many more in my stack that I can choose from that are in better condition in terms of what I want to do for the project today. This one, as you can see, has the evenness all the way around, as does this one right here. All right, so we're going to put this one aside for the next project, and let's begin. Next thing I want to do is I want to take some E6000 glue adhesive and I'm going to tear these together. I have here some shop towels and it's just regular plain blue shop towels and some of them are actually even being upcycled. I'm gonna make them into little strips. I also have some old t-shirts that I'm ripping up and I'll be using for this project as well. Make sure you have enough. They don't have to be anything fancy. They don't have to be even. I find that upcycling cotton t-shirts is great because the fabric is very easy to work with. I have my water and a little bit of the Fexbon Thin Set put into a upcycled a mushroom container, plastic container, you can use any container. I'm gonna add a little bit of water and a little stir stick. I prefer to mix up a little bit at a time. The consistency that we're looking for here is that of a thick brownie batter. Our idea here is to take our fabric and, and you know, our t-shirt material, our shop towels, our paper, and we're gonna be completely going over this. And it's gonna become very firm with this application. We're going to continue in this fashion until the whole entire black pot assemblage is covered. And I want to make sure that you get a nice even coating. Mm -hmm. 
At this point, I'm gonna start working on this little lip that's at the bottom as well as the top. Now you can see these four points that jut out of our plastic containers. There's one, two, three, and four, and the same with on the bottom. We're at a point where we need to incorporate that more into the design. That I'm gonna take my shop towels. Now, if you have fabric, if you have t-shirt, whatever you have, don't go out and buy anything. You can use newspaper if you want to. You're gonna kind of scrunch it like this and we're gonna dip it into our thin set, our flex bond thin set, and we're going to put it on our bottom here. And then we'll be doing the same to the top. Like so. Dry, so I'm gonna add some more, and you're just gonna wrap it right here. It might not look too pretty right now, but trust me, Trust the process. While we're here, we're gonna work on the interior part up here just to kind of make it look a little prettier because you're not gonna to wanna to move this around too much. You wanna let it dry, let it set a little bit. And right now let's just go in and um, trim up this area right here so it doesn't look so ratty looking. Nice. I flipped around our planter pot and I'm going to finish off this end in this position. And once again, we'll take our shop towel. We're going to dunk it in our thin set, just like we did the other end. And I'll put some right here. There are some areas that are kind of indented more, which I kind of want to get a little bit more plump. And that's why I'm just adding some little pieces to the twisted mass that we just put on. bulk it up just a little bit more, just in some areas. There we go, right in here. All right, I'm gonna let that set and we'll be back. I went outside and got some fresh mustard leaves. I'm thinking that what would be really nice is to do some prints of the mustard leaf on our pots. I don't know how that's going to work out. I think it's going to look fine. And my other choice is to take a long strip of my shop towel. Again, you can use your t-shirts or strips of paper or whatever you have and wind it up and do some organic shapes. So I'm going to start with my mustard leaves and I think that this is going to look really super nice. So while this is drawing in place, I'm going to work on this side the best I can and I'm going to scoop out a huge gop of my thin set. All right, then I'm gonna wipe off some of this stuff. I'm going to take my leaf and make a print. I wanna lift it up and peek, but I kinda of don't because I don't wanna ruin it. Now we're not gonna let it dry here. All we're gonna do is print it and lift it after a few minutes. You see that texture? That is really quite handsome. I like that a lot. And I'm gonna use that. So I'd be leaf printing around to get that different texture. We'll do that around the whole entire pot. Very, very pretty. As you can see, the leaf imprinting 
is leaving a very subtle texture on our planter pots. I like it, it's very organic looking, it's very, very pretty. I'm gonna leave this to dry and we'll be back. We're at a point now where you could basically paint this if you wanted to and seal it and it's one and done. However, there's one thing that I'd like to add to this. I'm thinking I may want to lean this over here and take the shop towels, once again, our trusty shop towels, and dip them into the thin set and create some organic shapes coming up here. Um, kind of like branches almost. So I think I'm gonna do that. And as I said, if you're at a point now where you don't want to do any more work, uh, hey, you just paint it up. And I'm going to start from the bottom here. And uh, make my way up, twisting and smooshing the shop towel into place. I am simply loving this bar relief application of our shop towels with the thin set. It is just going to be so impressive. Honestly, this is like, they look like little buds, you know, little buds, little flower branchings. Uh, this is very, very lovely. Now you don't have to cover the whole thing. You do what you want to do and, and then you call it a day, you know? These are kind of like roots growing up from this base. I like that. Very organic looking, nice feel to it. I have to keep in mind this entire space, which is about 24 inches in height, as I said before, I think that you want uh, you want to treat the, the space as a whole. It's gonna work, but I have to tell you, I have some old holiday decorations and they're kind of getting, well, they're kind of getting a little tired looking and oh don't cry I'm so sorry I'm gonna find new use for you oh don't do it yes do it oh don't do it yes do it okay so I'm gonna put this in here you're gonna love yourself oh my god this is so beautiful and we're going to put this in here I don't know what do you guys think I think this is kind of cool actually right give me a new a new lease on life here bend your little feet so they go in more and shape it around. I like that. What do you guys think of that? Ooh, ooh, I like this a lot. Okay, what I want to do is build up this tree stump or this limb or whatever you want to call it, this organic shape to be a little bit bolder, a little bit more of a bob relief there. Let me see if I can do that. So it gives him a little bit more prominence. Yeah, there you go, guys. This is drying really well. And what I wanna do right now is to go into the little crevasses here with a bit more thin set and make sure that everything is sealed down or it needs to be sealed down and there's no uh, formidable gaps of any sort.
so much for joining me. Have a beautiful day.